Welcome to True Power, home of the most powerful marketing tools, training, and technology on planet Earth. Get ready to earn, enjoy, and experience more than you ever dreamed was possible. If you're tired of just getting by and ready to really thrive, then buckle in and listen up. Here's your host, Matt Fox. Well, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, depending on what part of the country you are in. We're glad to have you here today. We've got some good things to cover. It is uh, February the 5th on Saturday, and uh, we are having quite the cold snap here in Dallas. And so I can hear the sirens going off in the background, so I don't know what that's about. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and jump into the agenda here today. So I'll start by sharing my screen. So the topics uh, to be covered today are going to be uh, the new email platform, which is uh, web-based and mobile. Uh, overview of some of the important areas in the back office of the pricing platform and navigating some of that information, as well as overview of the residential script uh, and promotion that we have going on um, and some of the things that we're looking at maybe helping you uh, increase your income while helping customers at the same time. So let me uh, jump right over to the quick launch menu. And so uh, everybody is familiar with the quick launch menu. Uh, it is at agent.truepower.com. And uh, earlier in the week, we had a big long button across the top of the page where you could listen to sales calls to uh, get a really good idea as how to do those sales calls. Those are live recordings. Uh, that button has been moved down to here where it says sales calls recording. So you can continue uh, to listen to those as we continue to add more and more uh, along the way. The, the new email uh, platform can um, take the place of Thunderbird. So it does not matter where you are or what device you are on. So in the past, people who had Chromebooks uh, could not load Thunderbird. It's not compatible. And so that always was a little bit of a challenge as well as being able to have access to all of your emails uh, from a, a cell phone device or anything like that. So everything that you need to access is right here on this page. And so at the top here on the left button, number one is the new web-based email platform. And so if you click on that, it is going to take you to uh, the email platform, which is at mail.truepower.net. And all you have to do to log in is put in your email address, your True Power email address and your unique password, which is the same password that you use for the CRM, the back office and everything else. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to load uh, my demo. And so it is going to bring up your email. Everything that is currently in your Thunderbird has been migrated over, so they are married up. So if you happen to be on a device that is not where your Thunderbird is, you can continue to use Thunderbird, uh, but there's no need in it. You can use the new platform, which is web-based, so you can access it virtually from anywhere. And so you've got the ability to uh, send and receive emails just like any anything else, kind of similar to uh, Gmail in, in that regards. And so you've got your sent files, drafts, things like that. And then you can sort 
uh, different things depending on how you want to categorize things. So for example, I've got some of the old notifications uh, here from some of the old trainings. If I wanted to create a folder, then all I really need to do is go down here, create a folder. And if I wanted to put it under a specific uh, subtitle, then I could do so or just create the folder, which is going to end up right here. So if I wanted to move all of these, all I've got to do is click on that and then click on where do I want to move them right to there. Boom. Everything is over in there. So now uh, everything is where I need it to be. So I think this is going to be very helpful. Your signatures are already uh, loaded into the system and updated uh, company-wide. So you won't have to worry about, did I load it into Thunderbird or anything like that anymore? So that's going to make life a lot easier for a lot of folks. Um, and so the other thing is, if you notice that when you come to the login page, you'll see the mobile version here. And so if I click on that, uh, that is going to basically give you the mobile version uh, of the login page. So if I go to my iPhone, I have this up on my iPhone. And so all I've got to do is to log in. And again, I can access all of my emails uh, right from a mobile device as well. So that makes it very, very handy. So you can do either one. Uh, being able to access uh, both mobile and um, on your desktop. Uh, is going to make it very nice in being able to uh, have access to your email no matter where you are, even if you are on an iPad or Chromebook or your computer or somewhere else and you needed to access it, you could get into your email from virtually anywhere. So I, I think that that's going to be a huge benefit and a help for a lot of people. Uh, having access and not having to worry about setting that up uh, overall. So that's going to be uh, kind of nice. So um, on the other side, um, on the pricing platform, there was just a couple of things that I really wanted to uh, point out. The uh, commercial back office. So Obviously, when we enter customers for commercial, we add them here if we're doing an instant quote. But really what I want to bring your attention to is uh, this area here under the financial profile where you can uh, literally at a glance see how you're doing with your commissions, what is uh, getting paid, what is going to be paid, uh, and then some of those frequent broker stats as you to uh, increase the amount of your business, then the additional overrides are going to continue to increase as well. So that is all under the financial profile. Um, the other thing is over here under the menu, um, you have your market overview which is going to show you a map and be mindful that when you when it pulls up it it's going to be looking at commercial markets custom pricing and we went over some of that last week on the commercial pricing that means that all of these states either require or uh, have or or are eligible for custom pricing and so that is obviously going to be the lion's share of the United States. Uh, those areas commercial that are matrix pricing that is available is narrowed down there a little bit. And so you can see what states uh, you can see. So if for some reason 
you happen to be marketing in an area where custom pricing is uh, predominant. So say for example, you know, California, uh, whereas California, you more than likely are not going to see any electric matrix prices because it's not available. So just be mindful of that when you're ordering customer leads. Uh, obviously, the utility audit is in all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, so does not matter in either case. Uh, the residential is going to narrow down a little bit more, uh, similar to what we saw for the commercial. And so you can click on any of these states and it will show you what suppliers are available uh, in that particular market. And so um that just kind of lets you know what's going on who's where what when and how so um when you're ordering your leads that's why we broke that down in the lead ordering system is so that you are clear as to how those work now kind of going over bridging over to the residential script and promotion i do want to uh, bring something up that I think is important. You know, when we're making calls, uh, the caller ID is an 833 number. And so um, I have been entertaining the thought on picking a specific state for the residential market, taking and buying some additional phone lines that are local. So you know, for example, the same thing as if we were marketing here in, in Dallas, well, one of the predominant area codes is 214. And so obviously, if I'm making calls in Texas from an 833 number, it may or may not get answered just because people don't recognize uh, an 833 number as being somebody they might know. Um, they may look at it, oh, that's probably a sales call. I'm not going to answer it. So one of the things that uh, we're looking at is targeting a specific state and really focusing as a company um, and adding some additional phone lines so that the system will automatically uh, recognize that if I'm making a call to a 214 uh, phone number, a customer, then it will use a 214 phone number to show in the caller ID so that those calls get picked up a little bit more. So I would be interested to hear everybody's uh, comments about that. I think it would be an excellent opportunity to gain more traction and more business by having those uh, phone numbers the caller IDs match the area code that you're calling in. So it feels very local. So if you have somebody that's calling you from the same area code that you live in, odds are you're going to pick it up a little quicker than if it's an 833 or an 800 number, toll free number. So um, that is something that we're certainly entertaining in adding into the CRM. And so bridging over into the CRM and residential script and promotion, uh, I do want to go over a couple of things. So if we go into the CRM and log in, let's go to a lead. For the moment, let's just assume that this was a residential customer. Um, if it were a residential customer, since they do not have a business name, um, if this were a residential, it would say Texas residential. So if this were a residential lead, uh, whatever state you're in, in the business field, it'll always say what state uh, residential so you can identify those quickly in case you happen to uh, move those around or you've changed the uh, status of it and you're following back up. But more importantly, what I wanted to point out today is the um, residential script 
and simplifying that. And I think that if you are spending, you know, 20, 30% of your time doing residential and building that up, even if you're only doing it to uh, grab a couple customers a week uh, to offset, you know, some of your expenses, then I think that that's a good thing. And so in simplifying the residential script, you'll notice that there is nothing on here where I'm addressing John Smith, even though I know that's John Smith uh, is the contact. There is nothing on here that says, is this John? Uh, how are you, John? Nothing. I never, ever, ever address a customer by name until I get to the contract. So good morning, good afternoon. My name is Matt Fox with True Power and the State Energy Choice Program. If I'm calling Texas, then I would say I'm with True Power and the State Energy Choice Program of Texas. And with rates at an all time low in your area, our company is offering customers a win-win opportunity. So if you would grab a copy of your electric bill, and if the rate on your bill is lower than what I have to offer, then our company will give you $500 in restaurant cash. If the rate I have to offer is lower than what you're paying, then I would like for you to take advantage of it and save some money. But either way, you win. Grab a copy of your bill and let's see which way you win. And so I think that that is you know, you can put that in your in your own tonality. Uh, but I think that that is going to provide a lot of quick value. It's a win win situation, the customer can't lose. So by Monday, there will be uh, an additional uh, template for uh, the residential customer, uh, so that you can send them uh, their $500 in restaurant cash. And basically what it's going to do is be tied in case if they have a lower rate than what you have to offer, then by all means, you, we want to keep our promise. And so it will be tied to the uh, $500 in restaurant cash page, which you can find at 500.truepower.com. And simply, it's going to give them that link where they can claim uh, their $500. But by having an email that goes to the customer, giving them their $500 uh, in restaurant cash is going to give them access to this page so they can see a little bit more about, you know, how does it work, compliments of True Power. Uh, you've got a little video here, but they can enter their, their email address in there and, send it off. You can certainly do it for them, but I think it's much better when they see uh, everything visually um, and it keeps them going. Not only that, by having an email template that is going to go out to uh, the customer, I think then it gives us an opportunity to keep our name in front of them uh, for future reference, especially if they do happen to have a lower rate then we want to make sure that we give them their $500 in restaurant cash. So you, all you need to do is get their email address and you, you'll click that templated email off to them. And it's going to cover several things. Not only here's your reward for, uh, claim your reward for your $500 in restaurant cash, but it's also going to give them the ability uh, to look at a couple of other things is when does your contract expire? Uh, you know, opportunities when you can take advantage of markets when they're lower. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're capitalizing on that so that uh, in the future, should they decide to come back and make any changes to their account uh, in the future on their own, we want to make sure that you get credit for it and they'll use that information and link. So I think that will uh, be very valuable. So um, uh, in that regards, I think that, you know, with being able to put something in front of the customer um, and giving them a more visual experience because seeing is what? Believing. And so it gives the customer a little bit of an opportunity to 
look at things when they don't feel like they're under the gun or they're under pressure uh, so they can verify everything. So I think that that is going to make things a lot smoother and using the residential script as well. So uh, those are really the main topics that I wanted to cover today. We covered some things that uh, are, are pretty simple, but I think there are, are tools and benefits that are going to make your life a whole lot easier in the end and ultimately time management and ease of being able to work with customers is what it's all about so that you can gain more traction with more customers in a shorter period of time. So appreciate everybody being here on the call today. Um, and we will talk to you again next week. Bye now.